Hey what's up YouTube, welcome to Trending Reviews. So I've got the Samsung S9 Plus and my previous phone is the Google Pixel 2 XL. I wanted to compare the different types of camera quality in the portrait modes. The S9 Plus has live focus mode and a selfie focus mode which is essentially the portrait mode for a Google Pixel. So I wanted to see which one was better because I bought the Google Pixel specifically for the camera quality primarily to do with the portrait mode. So I wanted to see how that compares when I've been using this for about a week now and just to see which is the better camera quality in terms of those two different types of modes. So let's have a look right now. Okay guys, so this first picture I've took of a flower in a glass jar. Now you can see from the Google Pixel 2, it does give a little bit of a blurry effect on the bottom side of the flower on the right. And overall, I don't think it's completely blurs the background. You can see the menu behind the glass jar is still readable in terms of its sharpness. In, if you look at the Samsung S9 Plus, you can see it's completely blurred everything outside of the flower, including the menu there. I would give this a, a win for the Samsung S9 Plus there. The next picture is a selfie portrait of me in my back garden on a sunny day. So the Google Pixel on the, on the left you can see it's a little bit sharper, you can see more of the features, it's more close up and I think it's captured more of a natural feeling. It's done a very good job blurring the background as well. The S9 Plus I can see it's also done a very good job blurring the background. You can see part of my hair on the top right has been blurred as well so it hasn't captured everything smoothly. It is however brighter though, so I can see that my face is a little bit lighter. Maybe that's because it's brightened up the image a little bit using the beauty mode. However, I would say that the winner in this situation is the Pixel 2. This next picture is of a little baby Groot. Now, I took this at home. The lighting wasn't the best, so I just wanted to see how it would compare. Now, if you have a look at the Pixel 2, you can see on the top left part of Groot's head, some of the little roots has been blurred alongside the background as well and if you look in the S9 Plus you can see the same little roots on the top left you can see a bit more of them the picture itself is a bit zoomed in so it's not that bad and I would say the better photo for me in this situation is the S9 Plus however you can see a little bit more natural detail on the group in the Pixel 2 image so it's all a personal preference. The one thing I've noticed around the Pixel 2 images is if you look at the bottom of the image, you can see it's blurry right at the bottom and it doesn't get blurry right up to the group itself. So that's something I like about the Samsung S9 Plus. It does pick up a lot of the blurriness around outside of the entire object that's in focus. Whereas the Pixel will pick random blurry places around hoping to capture whichever part of the object you're focusing on is in there. This next picture is me just standing outside in the shade. So the Pixel 2, I can see it hasn't blurred everything in the background. You can see there's part blurriness and part sharpness. The Samsung S9 Plus has done an awesome job here blurring everything in the background and capturing my entire body. If you look on the bottom right hand side of my foot on the Pixel 2, you can see the blurriness overlaps a little bit on the shoe whereas it's captured it completely on the S9 Plus and I think the clear winner here is the S9. Now this one is me sitting down in the sun. So the situation here is that the Pixel 2 actually didn't pick up my portrait mode. So it's pretty much almost the same as if you've just taken a normal photo. Even though it has picked up part of the portrait mode, you can see to the left of my face in the Pixel 2 picture that there's a bit of a blurriness in the, in the window at the pub in the background. The clear winner S9 Plus, you can see it's blurred everything in the background, it's focused on my entire body. Of course it's a little bit brighter, I think that does look good, some people might say that it's not that great. But for me it does actually do a very good job. So this one is a portrait picture of a sign. I just wanted to compare because I've taken pictures of uh, objects, food and myself. But I wanted to see of like billboards and signs and see what kind of job it does there. Now I can see the Pixel 2 didn't pick up any of the portrait mode, so it's just taking a normal photo. Whereas the S9 still focused on the, the board itself and it's uh, blurred the background and it's done a pretty good job. So the winner there is the S9. This one is me standing inside a cafe. 
Now, I can clearly see that the S9 Plus is a lot brighter and it's made my skin a little bit smoother. That's because the beauty mode was on. In my previous portrait pictures I've shown you the beauty mode was off. So this is a comparison. I just wanted to show you guys how much of a difference that would make. And you can see here the Pixel 2 is a little bit more natural. However, it doesn't completely blur the backgrounds like the professional SLR quality photography. But the S9 Plus does do that. So for me, I would give the S9 a win on this picture primarily because of the background blurriness that it focuses on but the more natural picture for me is the Pixel 2 in here. This is me sitting indoors at my office and I'm in front of a window with the blinds down so for me even though the S9 Plus is a lot brighter I can see everything a little bit clearer I think the Pixel 2 is more natural you can do post editing to fix the brightness on your face and that kind of stuff from so from a natural perspective, I think that Pixel 2 has done a better job there. And I can see in the S9 there's a bit more blurriness around the left side of my face, which the Pixel 2 hasn't caught. So for me, the win is for the Pixel 2 there. So finally, I've taken an indoor portrait picture inside a pub. So while we were playing some board games, having some drinks, I've told my friends to take a portrait picture on both phones and the clear winner is the Pixel 2. Now a lot of the time I'm going to be taking pictures is going to be indoors when I'm at having dinner with some friends, having a meal, going to parties, that kind of stuff. So indoor pictures are quite important to me. So one thing I've noticed with the S9 Plus is is not that great in low lighting. Now you can see clearly here the, the Pixel 2 is very sharp and has captured all of my features. Whereas the S9 Plus seems a little bit zoomed in even though I didn't zoom in any extra than the default live focus mode. And it's not that sharp, it's a little bit grainy, whereas the Pixel 2 is more like an SLR quality one there. So personally, indoor pictures, the Pixel 2 always excels on that part. All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope that was a good review for you. What do you guys think? Which portrait mode is better for the Samsung or the Google Pixel? So leave your comments below. I hope you liked the video. I think I'm going to continue using the Samsung S9 and I'm going to watch this space to see if there's any announcements for the Google Pixel 3 coming later on this year. Overall, I'm happy with the S9 Plus. I do think that the Google Pixel does take better portrait pictures in low lighting conditions. However, a lot of the pictures I've taken in the live focus mode on the S9 Plus have been a bit better than the Pixel. So it's a variation really. It's all your personal preferences. Now I hope you liked the video, please do subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care.